Now for one of the loveliest sights of the countryside, orchards of apple and cherry trees in blossom. Here in Kent, often called the Garden of England, are some of the biggest orchards in the country. Land that has been turned over to the highly specialized cultivation of fruit. Here in its prettiest form, money does grow on trees. For the fruit growers, blossom time is a time of danger to the crop. An easy prey to frost and pests, the blossom has constantly to be protected, sprayed time and again with lime and sulphur solutions used in different strengths throughout the season. The first of the summer sprays is applied when the blossom buds are just developing, and a second is made immediately after the petals have fallen followed by repeated sprays as the farmer thinks fit. Careful examination will reveal the extent of the frost damage and also the probable yield of fruit. Dead buds, or frost buds as they're called, are best removed. This year the frost was comparatively light and the farmer can hope for more than six tons of apples from every acre. Given careful attention is the grass on which the sheep graze, for orchards in which animals graze produce firmer and better coloured fruit. When it's apple blossom time in the Garden of England, the countryside may be at its prettiest, but the farmer, that man of skill and care, he's at his busiest. 